So we're shooting this video to introduce two new products, our waterproofing product by Torque Lock and our Torque Lock hydraulic cement. And we're gonna show you a radius installation. So we have a five foot linear foot uh, structural repair in a corner of a pool. Another leak detection company went out. We're going in to do the actual repair. Take a look and see how we get it done. So here's a walk up on the pool. It's a small residential pool only. The leak is and crack is in the corner, uh, so we're getting this pool bailed out, bucketed out, cleaned out to get in. Here's the structural crack. This thing was pulling dye when they did the leak detection. So we're going to take our templates and we're going to mark out so we can get a wide cut. We're going to cut this a couple times, but this is just giving us an idea of where we're going to take that wide cut from. So once we have it marked out, we're going to cut the whole thing open. So we're going to take our four and a half inch diamond blade. We're going to cut down. Down, and we're going to remove a section of this and you'll see where we set our staples back so after we do our cutting now we're going to do our chipping we're removing the plaster so we're getting a setback um, once we get the setback it'll allow us to set our staples and mark it out one more time so here's where we're marking it out one more time and we need to do this so that we get our staples set back far enough so there's no bleed out or no issues in the future Here's where we, so we marked the staples uh, and now we're gonna chip back again one more time just so we have enough setback. Here's where we set our staple in and we actually mark the holes. And we're marking the holes for the places that need to get drilled when we come in with the drill bit, the masonry drill bit. And here's where we drill it out. So we're using, a, we use our Bosch Bulldog with a half inch masonry bit and we drill all of our holes and we get it ready so that we can put our staples in. So now that we set our staples back in, we use the bolts that they come with. We're not torquing these. We're just tightening all of our bolts. We get them hand tight and nice and snug. Next thing we do is we inject our epoxy to where the cam is gonna be going in. So we take our epoxy, we set it in, and then we set in our cam. Once we set in our cam, we click and lock it. That's a 22 pounds of pull torque. This thing's ready to get buried. So we're mixing the Torque Lock brand hydraulic cement. Again, this is non-shrinking, so it's perfect for the application. Mix it with some water, and then we get it all mixed up and we're gonna hand trowel that and we're gonna hand pack it. Again, just get it mixed up so that it's of nice, like almost a little bit thicker than a toothpaste consistency. Here's where we're hand packing it. We could use a trowel, but we like to use our hand as well. We could sometimes use both. Again, we get it in and pack nice and tight and then we wipe it down with water. Once we do that and that's all set up, now we're gonna use our waterproofing, the Torque Lock waterproofing material. This enables that no matter whatever happens, even if it ever does recrack, it's not going to actually leak. Once we mix that all up, we add the aggregate to it and we mix that up so that we can get it to a good consistency. And once we get it to the consistency that we need, we're gonna actually roll it. Some guys like to brush it. Um, we like to, William here is doing the app, the installation does a lot of this. He likes to roll it out. And once we roll it out, this is what it looks like. And we give that a day to dry up. So now this is nice and rough as you can see in the texture. And it allows anything that you're gonna to use to plaster over, whether it's any kind of material as he's using right here, we're just using a, a plaster mix and this is what the final look looks like. If you notice where it's wet, it's almost the same shade as the gray of the actual patch. So this is gonna wind up looking pretty good. For more information, visit torquelock.com and always check out our YouTube videos.